Hey guys, what's up? I'm making another video on Robux Lua or LUA. And today, on today's topic, we will be working with math. Now, there, there, there's probably some math in here that you don't know. I was just looking it up on a website. Um, I will be putting the link in the description. And um, let's get started. First of all, let me just put this up in the comment to show you. Math.huge. Um, infinite number, which is actually like, well, impossible to reach. Basically, it's the highest number ever. Or, yeah, like out of all of them. Now, um, math. Dot, oops, math. Dot max returns the highest number. Um, so let's say we use a table, like I showed you in the last tutorial with the pairs and I pairs. If I showed you a table, um, sorry, sorry Kiki, sorry that was my cat. Um, it would act, so let's say the table goes like this. One, two, four, I mean one, three, four, two, five, seven, eight, nine, then ten. It'll return ten. But even if we did this, It'll still return 10 because it's the highest. Math.min, which is short for minimum, it'll look for the shortest number. Return, you know what, let me zoom in. Just in case you guys can't see this. Returns the lowest number. I'll just show that. Yes, it's for short for example. No, it's not involved in Roblox, but it's just an abbreviation. I'm just going to put quotes around the largest number. It, it'll print, or it'll go with, it'll go with, um, not to do zero. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Negative one, three, six, um, three. It can, even if, this, even if the number is the same twice and it's not looking for that, it'll be fine. Um, alright, so, we're gonna work with these first, alright? And by the way, math's a huge. You can use it to make, like, a god giver, which is actually an, an old giver that gives you infinity health. It, technically, oh well, yeah, the name is self-explanatory. It gives you, it makes you a god, invincible, etc, etc. Alright, so, under it, let's do print math dot huge let's see and the computer's running slow now we gotta click play one infinity alright now Math dot max um three one what the oh hmm? oh I thought it stopped three one six two let's see what it prints look at the output six it prints six and by the way this isn't a table they don't it doesn't really have to be a table necessarily I oh, know now math dot minimum One. It's the smallest number in there. Alright, um guys, I'll be right back. Um just gotta see some I gotta see the other math. Um I just gotta see all the other math things that are based on this. Alright, be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Now here are the two other things I wanna show you. Math dot seal and math dot floor. They're the opposite of each other. So it's let's say I put a number in here, four point five. It's going it's going to return the largest number. Um anything greater than it, but it rounds it up. So it's gonna do five. Or even if you do four point one, it's still gonna do five. If we do amount of floor, we do four even four point nine. In the output. 4 is going to come out, and you put here, 5 is going to come out. Let me show you. 
Also, this is gonna be this tutorial is gonna be very helpful for you know like when you work on the sizes, velocity, stuff like that. Even something else we're gonna be working in the future. I mean, it's GYs or G's as I pronounce them. Math that's oh my god, math that's seal 4.1. Let's try. Oops, forgot to do the print. That's why I erased it the first time. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Five. See? Now I'm at that floor. Four. See? And let me show you this now. Still four. Alright, um, I'm. Alright, just let me look at my phone. Let me see, um, what the others are. That's a, that's why, um, I paused the first time. This won't take long. Alright, let's work with. Oh, you know what? I'll just show you something I actually know. Math.py. Um, the shorter way of doing it is 3.14, which is the decimal. So print math.py. It, it's actually used for measuring a lot of things, like angles. Um, it can be used for a lot of things. Also, oh yeah. Um, any output. This is not exactly true. Well, technically it is, but it can, it actually goes on forever. Decimals that go on forever are known as, I believe they're called, um, irrational. And rational are, are, um, terminating, aka ending decimals. Alright, so, um, okay, let's see what else. Oh yeah, and the reason I'm not looking at stuff on my computer because... Well, I don't know, whatever. Um, so let, oh, math.random, I forgot about that one. I'm very good at this kind. Math.random, I don't think it's going to work like this. I think you need to be more specific with math.random. See, it just prints up um, the function hexadecimal. Um, so you're going to have to do this. Math.random, print C, 1, 5. So it's going to search for any number, 1 through 5. That's a whole number. Five. Let's try it again. One, two, four, three, four, four, three, two, two. See? Now, I think if we had another comma, I'm not sure, but. Yeah, you can't add any more than just one. Let's do one, three hundred point five. Let's see if that works. One hundred twenty-three. Two hundred sixteen. See, any number in between those two num those two integers. Let's try 1.9 now. One comma 1.9. I showed you math random before. It's just a review though. Oh, it keeps doing two because it's rounding up. It doesn't do decimal places, I guess. Usually, math random is used in like complicated scripts. They use it pick a random. It can even be a string. Like um, words, for example. That's that's what basically what a string is. Um, if I haven't told you that already, I think it did. But anyways, um, so yeah, um, all right. Let me look up another. And by the way, I'm only in ninth grade, so um, I don't know all this stuff. Like math that S I N known as sin, I think. I think I'm gonna be doing that later on in the year. Square root. I know that. Um. Here's a easier. Here's a sorry. Here's the way to show it. I mean to do it. Math. S Q. Come on. S Q. This is annoying. Square root. Square root of 144. It's gonna give you 12. Because 12 times 12 is 144. See? 12. It can even be a decimal. Um, in the output or in here. So let's say we want to break it down even more. 12 is 3.464101615137 etc etc. It goes on forever. Now 6. Whatever these are, that times itself is going to equal 6 on um, this one. Now um Yeah, pretty much shit for square roots. Oh yeah, you can also do this. 
to find the square root, you, you can multiply by, by 0.5. So let's say we want to find the square root manually, like, like this, instead of typing maps that square root, whatever. 144 asterisks, which is short for times, 0.5. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. 0.05. Well, whatever. I don't think you can do it like that. It's actually really, really, really complica complicated to figure out how to do square root manually. I don't even know how to do it. I don't even think they're going to teach it to me. I think I might have to look it up or some. Alright. Oh, here's one more. Met print. Math.pow, which is short for power. Four. What? <laughs> what do you. Th How does that not work? Um, two, four, like that, comma. Sixteen. Because four to. I mean, two to the power of four, sixteen. This is, this is how you do powers. Um, two. If, if you want to find. 2 to the power of 4, you gotta do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is 4 times 4, if you want to make it easier for yourself. Just simplifying it at 1 at a time, or 2 at a time in this case. 16. Or you can just do it like this. Print 2 to the power of, which is also known as a caret, this thing on the keyboard. 2 to the power of 3, you can do... Man, this computer keeps lagging like crazy. 8. See, you can do math up. You can do math up power, power, or you can just do a carrot. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this tu tutorial helped, because it, it will be very helpful in the near future. And, oh, and one more thing. As I explained earlier, these are some others. Sin, cost, and log. Um, I'm pretty sure when I learn, when I'm, when I learn them in school, I'm bound to show you guys this, or maybe sooner, when I figure it out on the computer, whatever, etc. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Once again, I hope this helped, and I'll be seeing you later.